Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS Question and Answer Session Series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to convert this Excel sheet into point shape file. So we can convert this multiple file at a time. We can convert into point feature. So here I'm having two files. So this two file at a time, I can convert into point shape file. I will open this file. You will see I'm having there latitude, longitude, then magnitude, and this depth data is there. So we require latitude, longitude, and you can take anything into, into Z factor. In another file also, I'm having this latitude, longitude, and altitude. So these two files are different. Okay. And these two different files at a time, I want to convert into point feature. So how we can able to do that using QGIS. So I'm having this SCM JS plugins. So there is a batch converter is there. Okay. So for this, we just need to install this plugin first. So just click, click on the plugin and manage and install plugins. So here you need to search in SCM GIS. Okay. So this plugins, you need to install this first. So once you'll install this plugins, you just need to click on the SCM GIS and click on the batch converter. So we can convert this CSV file to point file. Okay. So first you need to convert your Excel sheet into CSV file format. So whatever this file is there, you just need to click on the file, then save as, then you just need to choose your folder and you need to save this file into CSV file format. So I have already saved this both the file into CSV file format. So I'll not going to do it again. So after that, I will come to the QGIS. So here we need to select a folder. Okay. So first option is there input CSV folder option is there. Okay. So just click on the browse and after that we just need to click on this folder. Okay. Then Excel shape file. Okay. When I will come here, you will see the folder in the video lecture. There is a folder Excel shape file. So this two shape file will, you will not see there, but when you will click here, you just need to select a folder in the video lecture. There is Excel shape file is there. Once you will select the folder, you will see the both the file is added here. The 2004 to till date. So this file is there. Okay. And after that, another file is elevation data is there. Okay. So both the file is there. So if you want to know how you can able to download this Excel sheet and all that data, so you can visit our Vikas Gadamur channel. In that there is a video where I have shown how you can able to download the search earthquake catalog. In this video, I have already prepared location map and how you can able to download the data set for that. I have provided a link. So using that link, you can able to watch the video. So once you'll see here, so it is automatically taking latitude as a latitude and longitude as a longitude. Okay. What are the things I have added here? Latitude and longitude. And after that, if you'll select this another file, it's the same thing is there latitude and longitude. So at a time, we'll convert this two file into point shape file. So just click on the apply option. Once we'll click on the apply op option, you will see this two files is converted into point shape file. So for that, I will close this. I will go to the folder and you will see two files is added here. The same name and just given here GeoJSON. So we can open this file format GeoJSON into QGIS. So just select it and we can directly add here. So see, we have added this elevation data set. Again, we can able to add this file, just select it and add it here. So just right click, then zoom to layer option is there. So see all the data set we have added here. Now, if you want to convert this GeoJSON file into shape file, you can convert. So just need to right click and then you just need to click on the export, then save as feature. And we can save into desired folder where, where, where we are working. I will save here. That is a magnitude shape file. Just click on the here automatically is taking shape file. And here WGS 1984 datum I will select. And I will just click on the OK. So now I have successfully converted into shape file format. Okay. So this way, very easily, if you are having hundreds of file, CSV file, we can at a time convert 
that file into point feature very easily. And then you can convert this GeoJSON file. Okay. Then this GeoJSON file, we can able to convert into shape files. So do you have any questions or if you are having any questions, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you. Thank you.